apologize that I didn't get on to do anything last night, but as you can imagine, I was absolutely heartbroken after Liverpool lost that game 3-1 to Real Madrid. Sergio Ramos is the first player I want to talk about. Now, say what you will, everybody out there will have their different beliefs about if Sergio Ramos meant to injure Mohamed Salah. I believe he truly did. We've seen the incident with Loris Karius two minutes before the opening goal where he elbows Loris Karius in the face. Now, People, Real Madrid fans, if you're watching this video or, or people who believe he didn't do that on purpose, I'm going to hear things like uh, Van Dyke pushed him. Yes, Van Dyke did nudge him, but it's the way, again, he initiated the contact with Loris Karius. If you're falling into somebody as a human being and you want to stop that fall or you want to break your momentum, what do you do? You put your hands up like this. So you put your hands up, you cushion the fall between yourself and the player in front of you or the person in front of you. He didn't do that. He raised his elbow like this and clocked carries in the jaw and once again the referee let it go i can't see klopp getting rid of him this soon because let's be honest will he have a resale value if klopp gets rid of him now straight away his career is over it's done it's buried so i think we might see another goalkeeper come in and carry us fight for that position or become the second choice got a couple of cup games and maybe moved on to the end of next season but i just don't think that that trust would be there really with the players and going forward i mean this was the biggest of big occasions and he cost his team. There's no way about it. But then the real difference happened. The bench. Real Madrid had the option to bring on Gareth Bale. Zidane did that. He made a substitution. Gareth Bale came on. And we know what happened next. Within a couple of minutes, Gareth Bale did what Gareth Bale does. Superstar. Scored one of the best goals you'll ever see in your life. Certainly in a final. That goal deserved to grace any final. And if there's one thing I'd like this final to be remembered for... It's that goal and that Loris carries his mistake. Now, obviously, it's up to you guys and you're going to have your own views on how you remember it. But that goal was worthy of gracing any final or any occasion. And there's nothing you can do except stand up and applaud when things like that happen. Jurgen Klopp knows what he's doing. We've got a great group of players, a fantastic manager. We've got a couple of quality additions to make in the summer. We know Naby Keita's coming in. But we know what we're at at this club. We're going in the right direction. It's going to be tough to get over last night. But wherever you were, I hope you're with family, friends, and you enjoyed the game as much as you could. I know when the game was over, my wife came down. She was in bed when the game was on. She came down and she didn't say anything. She walked in, gave me a hug because she knew that's what I needed. And it was devastating, wasn't it? It was heartbreaking. 